The National Book Foundation is a place that the volume gets cranked up every year on literature, on books, on writers. You know, it's like Oscars, Grammys, National Book Awards, right? Yeah. The National Book Award identifies great work. It is promoting the value of deeply thinking about the most considered and eloquently put forward thoughts of other people so that we can engage into a better conversation. We want to offer an invitation into literature. I think one of the most important things that literature can do right now is help us understand just like what it means to be human. The National Book Foundation exists to celebrate the best literature in America, to expand its audience, and to ensure that books have a prominent place in American culture. It means that we have to be all over the place, and we have to go where the readers are. Our public programs are designed to go out into the world and to bring authors to different communities all around the country and to truly be the National Book Foundation. Everything from writers going into schools to 5 under 35 to giving young people access to literature for free. There are all these ways the National Book Foundation is saying we all have a right to read and we all have a right to good books. We're growing. With NBF Presents, we're going from doing 12 or 14 programs a year to doing something like 40 or 50 programs a year. This year we launched Literature for Justice. Our goal was to pick five books that the National Book Foundation will be promoting as titles that effectively speak to mass incarceration. This year we also launched Author in Focus. So we're going to get people reading books that still have as much value as the day that they were honored on that stage. There's a lot of energy and enthusiasm around the National Book Awards and we want young people and families that participate in our education programs to feel a part of that. So that can be connecting them with National Book Award honored books. That can be connecting them with authors who are from their local community. What I love about working with the kids is that they're at the perfect age. They're developing an understanding of what empathy is and how to understand beyond their own experience. Education doesn't just stop at youth. Raising Readers brings published authors to communities in New York so the parents get to have their own book club. Seeing the act of reading as something that is just as normal as brushing your teeth can really change how you grow up and what your relationship to reading and literacy is. We want young people to experience books from a multitude of different entry points. That it's not just within the classroom, but something that they can engage with, with their friends, at home, that there are books on their bookshelves. We've worked with 37 different public housing communities across the country. We've given away almost 700,000 books, and we've reached families in 19 different states. It's this great experiment. What if we try to get everyone that we can to help us believe in books and make sure that everyone else believes in books too? What happens? <laughs>